Hi hello welcome to all in this video we are going to discuss about transfer pricing and other provisions to check avoidance of tax that is international transactions test your knowledge questions so in this first question what is given in question i will explain in question and i will explain the answers what is there in question here there is assessing officer and making adjustment to arms length price to international transactions of resulting increase of taxable income so what are the remedies is available for assessors so assessing officer is making adjustments what is the remedies how per assess there may be firstly assessing officer when he is making adjustments what he made adjustments he will not allow the deductions related to chapter 6a deductions is not allowed and section 10 a a deduction he is not allowed and when any corresponding adjustments would not be required for other associated persons this is the adjustments will made by the assessing officer what can the assessee can do assessee can if he is a person eligible under section 1 144c he can make appeal he can make to appeal against the order passed by the assessing officer and appeal can be filed to appellate authority appellate authority and appellate appellate tribunal income tax appellate tribunal to the commissioner as per section 246a and if he want to go for appeal he can go if we don't want to go for appeal he will revise the order he can file a revision of order of assessing officer under section 264 within one year from the date of order sought to be revised communicated this is the two options is there he will go for appeal and he will file for application of revised order so what is there in answer in case of assessing officer makes adjustments so he is making adjustments and uh, to arms length price so in case of international transactions we should follow the arms length price arms length price for all international transactions what is meant by all international transactions when there is a person one person is a resident and another person is non resident this is the case it will be treated as uh, treated as international transactions and where is a both are non resident persons both are non resident person it is also international transaction both are resident person it is not a residential non resident Uh, international transactions okay see consequences no deductions will be allowed under section 10a chapter 6a shall be al- not, shall not be allowed so no deduction 10a deductions is not allowed chapter 6a deductions is not allowed for income so increased income will be increased what is happen if the income is decreased it will not be adjusted so if the income is decreased no options is there you will not reduce any tax next no corresponding adjustment so here income is increased na income is increased means other person's expenditure is increased na you will not adjust any adjustment so no corresponding adjustment to the total income of other associated it will not be allowed to other associated person to adjust this expenses what is the income he is paying na that income is not allowed to other person's expenditure next remedies what is the remedies is there in the case of assessee he is eligible under section 144c if he is a eligible person and he can file objection within 30 days from receipt of draft order by him from your from drp that is dcp resolution panel and assessing officer and appeal can be again at the assessing officer in pursuance of directions of drp drp will provide the direction to file the appeal again at the assessing officer and made to the income tax appellate tribunal and any other case he can file appeal under section 260 246a commissioner appeals that is again at the assessing officer within 30 days so he will file within 30 days from the date of service with of notice of demand and he can opt another one he can opt for application of revision of order of the assessing officer under section 264 within one year from the date of which order sought to be revised communicated provided the time limit of appeal of commissioner or income tax appellate tribunal has expired so are the assessee waived to the right to appeal so here three options is there so he can go for income tax appellate tribunal and he can go for commissioner appeals and he can go for revision order next second case 
in second case what is provided in second case i lim one company he is there that is i limited he is there and supplied the company to its holding company holding company so it is supplied holding company he is u limited u limited it is indian company it is holding non resident company so when there is a resident and non resident it will be international transactions it will applicable transfer pricing when both are associated person so holding company associated persons means it will be associated enterprise that is two conditions was satisfied satisfied next what is there in a question that is provided that limited also supplied some products to unreserved see it is uncontrollable persons uncontrollable related persons he is controllable person next based on we limited and unrelated entity the transaction with you limited as price of 500 rupees 500 rupees per mt fob basis whereas transaction with we limited are priced at 700 so for related party we have transaction with 500 rupees from outsider we are transacted with 700 my is they provided freight so they will deduct the freight so what is the freight 200 rupees so 700 minus 200 rupees it will 700 minus 200 rupees it will become 500 rupees so we are also charging same 500 rupees so it is not a case because we are following the alp we are following the alp because see answer in this case i limited the indian company supplied billet to its foreign holding company since foreign company u limited his holding company i limited and also and u limited has associated enterprise with the meaning of 92a so there is a international transaction they both are associated enterprises next up i limited supplies similar product to unrelated party unrelated entity we limited uk transactions the between these two persons we will see the uncontrolled comparable uncontrolled transactions so comparable price we will see the related person and unrelated person so for the purpose of determining alp arms length price of transaction between associated enterprise this is called as cup method cup method that is comparable uncontrolled price so from uncontrollable person we will see the its price and we will compare this next determination of alp which is applicable next transaction with u limited on fob where has transaction with v limited on cif the difference adjustment become comparing the prices so what is their price was provided 700 rupees provided and they are charging for freight and we will deduct and it will become 500 rupees for adjusted price and we also fixed let's say adjusted price v limited uk and price fixed for u limited are the same arms length price is u 500 since sale price to related party and unrelated party he is same transaction with related party are also carried out arms length price next question number 3 what is there in question number 3 and we will see that x limited he is there x is there okay he is operating in india he is a indian person okay next dealer of goods manufactured by n limited and here one company he there this is company japan company and n limited holds 50% 55% so 55% he is gold that is more than 26% he is become associated enterprise and this one person is resident one person is not resident so it is international transaction so alp will be applicable here okay next up 55% of share and out of seven directors of company four are appointed and one another condition is also satisfied that where that persons if appointing persons is more than what is there more than what is there if it is a seven members it is required four then it will be to both treated as associated enterprise if it is a five and it will be three persons is appointed by that person then it will be treated as associated enterprises now they were appointed more than existing assessing officer after verification of international transactions of 300 lakhs for the relevant year by noticing the notice field has maintained to requisite documents and also not obtain the account report adjusted its income by making addition so assessing officer provided the notice to that person declared and also issued show cause notice to levy various penalties seeking your expert opinion so we need to provide the expert opinion so whatever the assessing officer done is correct because he is not maintaining the 
regards books of accounts so when the books of accounts is not printed we will pay the penalty what is what is the penalty see there penalties will be like this if you fail if you fail to report if you fail to report any transaction any transaction and so that you are not paid the tax so now you will pay the tax at the rate of 200 percent whatever the tax is there for example your tax is 50 rupees now you will to pay 200 rupees So now you will pay 200 rupees. That is first case. And second one, you will, you are not maintain the records. No. So for that transaction, whatever the transaction you have done the 10 transaction or you have done the 20 transactions, whatever the transaction you have done, take that take that transaction. And for transaction, you will pay the on value two percent as penalty. Two percent as penalty. And third one, if accountant that is chartered accountant is required to file his return within 30 november that is within due date if he has not furnished the return then liable to pay at the rate of 1 lakh so this is the three penalties is there now we will see the answer the fact of the case indicated that x limited and n limited japan associated enterprises it holds 55 percent and and it so just a minute and it has what happened man? and it has appointed more than more than that is more than board of directors because there is seven members there four was appointed this person so both are x is resident y is non-resident any transaction between x and y falls under the meaning of international transactions under section 92b 92b discussed about international transactions and 92a discussed about associated enterprise associated enterprise means there are some transactions is there if your transactions is applicable to you you both are become associated enterprise next up what is there in he, when associated enterprises is there, international transactions is there, then the transactions the income arising will be computed as per arm's length price. And next, actions of assessing officer in addition to the declared income and issuing so called notice for levy of various penalty is correct because default x limited is defaulted because he is not maintained the books of account yeah. when you are not maintaining the proper books of account you will liable to pay the penalty yeah. next what is the penalty is there penalties will be like this so failure to report any transaction any international transaction or any transaction or demut to an international transaction or any specified domestic transactions whatever the transactions is happened you are liable to pay tax but you have not paid the tax so now you will to pay the to which that provision chapter 10 is would applicable penalty will be 200 rupees of payment of tax payable so then whenever the transaction is happened you are required to pay the tax then you are not pay the tax na? no now pay the tax at the rate of 200 percent so whatever the tax is there you are required to pay next where the since payable it is misreporting of income next failure to maintain records so you are required to maintain books of accounts based on that maintaining you require to pay the tax but you are not maintaining the books of accounts so for the books of accounts is not maintaining you are liable to pay the interest at the rate of two percent of two percent and value value of each transaction identified each transaction in first case it will be tax and second case it will be value on each transaction and third case it will be the report related and accountant it will be penalty fixed penalty will be one lakh understand okay next the assessing officer before issuing any notice there must provide the opportunity of being had must be provided to why arm's length price should not be determined on basis of material or information or document in the position of assessing officer and here we will see if he is not maintaining alp because of there is an agreement between agreement between assessee and assessing officer that agreement may be a apa agreement or it may be a safe harbor rules if you are after this agreement then you are not required to pay you are not required to maintain alp cases next fourth question what is there in fourth question in fourth question they provided that anusha motors is there okay anusha motors is there 
an Indian company. It is a Indian company and declared income will be 300 crores. And with chapter 6, so it has provided income will be 300 crores. Okay, next. But before making any adjustment in respect to the following transaction, so there is some transaction, it has not maintained the uh, records, proper records. Next, okay, what is there? 100 cars sold to Rida Limited, US company, which is old 30%. 30% means more than 26%. So it is associated enterprise and it is non resident person. It will become. <coughs> It is required to maintain ALP and they are not maintained the ALP because they have less by 200 rupees is there. So when the sale is happened, you are pay less amount. So now we will add back that amount. Whatever the amount is there, 200 rupees each and 10,000 cards. So 10k into 10k into 200 into and it will be the dollars and we will convert it to rupees because it will be rupees and whatever the rate is there we will see later and next the amount royalty was royalty was paid 120 lakhs was paid to k2 us company and technical know-how manufacturing comma however k2 has provided same know-how 90 lakhs so we are showing more expenditure in our books because of that expenditure our profit was decreased so i will need to increase my profit what amount is need to provide 120 minus 90 it will be 30 lakhs 30 lakhs will be dollar it will be converted into rupees next third course third one third one will be loan of euro thousand crores carrying interest at the rate of 10 percent and germany company was outstanding the total book value will be amount of anucha limited anucha limited and here the uh, the person when the loans was taken when the loans was taken our books of account we will see how much percentage of loan was taken if the specified percentage is existed Ex exceed then it will be treated as associated enterprise so if both are associated enterprises then if different is there so they have paid more expenditure so our profit was decreased so that we will add back that one person case so thousand into one person into whatever the rate was provided here the um, euros was used so euro rate was used so rates will be required for now so they provided rates here okay any income see any income from an international transaction when two or more associated enterprise enter into mutual agreement or arrangement shall be computed as arm's length price in presence of chapter 10 so section 92a what is defined in 92a will be discussed about associated enterprise 92b will be discussed about international transactions so 92a what is the 92a when two are enterprise two enterprises shall be deemed to be associated enterprise when the section is applicable a to m 92a to m there is some transactions was provided in that section next anusha motors is associated with them so first case when more than 26 person is there it will be treated as associated enterprise so rida limited has per 92a because this company holds sharing more than 26 percent of voting power in anusha motors next k2 has per section 92 since he is a sole owner who is working for our company then it will be treated as associated enterprise next draft when case of loan financing given our more than book value more than 51 percent of book value the loan was there from other person it will be treated as both are associated enterprise so both are satisfied in our cases so we will add back all three so we are add backing so see and 200 into 10,000 into 63 into 63 30 lakhs into 63 and here it will be 84 rupees that is euro case this one so we will add back all we will add back all for example if there is any they are charged more if they are charged more we will deduct anyone no this is wrong we will not decrease the income if it is a case of decreasing the income we will uh, assessing officer will not come there next the difference of excess payment of royalty has been add back presuming that manufacture of cars by anusha motors is wholly dependent on use of novel owned by the koto 
limited next if here we will follow the alp when there is no agreement between advanced pricing agreement or safe harbor rules not updated next next question will be what is the legislative objective of bringing into existence the provisions relating to transfer price in relation to international transactions what is the legal objective he is there legal objective he is a simple because of this uh, there are doing transactions and they are showing more expenditure from their related parties they are benefiting and our indian will be decreasing the profit we, they are paying more less tax this is tax evasion so for this tax evasion and our revenue was decreasing because of our revenue was decreasing and there is no reasonable for that and there is no fair transaction will be happening and we will make this international transaction sir for the purpose of to to lead this multinational enterprise sir. so we will see the answer the presence of multinational enterprise in india and their ability to allocate profit in different jurisdiction by controlling the prices so what is they do controlling the profit for intra group transactions they will not control the profit for unrelated person they will control only when there is a intra group transaction prompted by government to set up an expert group for this purpose they have set up the expert group to issue to examine the issues relating to transfer pricing and there is ability two or more entities belonging the same multinational group of fix up price goods or services and allocate profit among enterprise within group in such a way that there may be either no profit so they will show no profit or they will show negligible profit for that they will pay the tax amount for example you are a indian company your actual profit is 100 crores and we will show more expenditure and profit will be become 2 crores or 1 crore and we will not pay the tax next for this reason the increasing participation of multinational group in economic activities nowadays international transactions nowadays multinational companies are investing in our company in india giving rise to new and complex issues so this is complexing issues for this complexing issues multinational company profit derived from such enterprise carrying and business in india in india can be controlled by multinational groups so controlled by multinational groups by manipulating prices charged so whatever they are charging they are manipulating and whatever they are paying they are manipulating it leads to erosion of tax what is is happening erosion of tax revenue for our india therefore transfer pricing provisions has been brought by finance act 2001 for 2001 it was acted next with a new view to provide statutory framework to lead computation will be computation will be reasonable and fair and equitable profit and make tax in india in case of multinational transactions next question number six what is there in question number six in question number six we will see the here x limited xc limited he is there Indian company and Jilla Incorporated is USA company and voting will be 28% it will become associated enterprise because 26% greater than 26% is there next following transaction he is there between these two companies what is the transaction is there and when both are associated enterprise we will follow the ALP next XE limited sold 1 lakh pieces of t-shirts at 2 rupees per t-shirt to Jilla Incorporation so he is selling when selling if he sell for less than price we will add back because of that if he charge less amount our income was decreased so what is the rate he has charged 2 rupees but it is actually 3 rupees to unrelated person so 1 rupee will be added 1 lakh into 1 rupee into and it will be the case of dollar we will convert into rupees rupee rate we will need next x limited borrow 2 lakhs from when the borrowing sir in the borrowing and if interest is paying more interest is paid means our expenditure was decreased and profit was increased so we will add back that expenditure now so from company he has paid 10,000 has guarantee fee to Jilla and if you paid to unregulated person 7,000 so actually they will pay 7,000 but they are paid 10,000 more 
3000 will be added 3000 into whatever the rate was provided we will add back next x limited paid 15000 to jilla incorporation getting various potential customer detail to improve its business jilla incorporation provides same services to unrelated party 10000 rupees so they are paid paid means our expenditure was increased profit was decreased so we will add back that amount of 5000 into whatever the rate is there we will add back what rate was 64 into 64 into 64 into 64 next xe limited is located in special economic zone when you are associated enterprise then no deductions will be allowed to section here we will take section 10 aa and six, uh, chapter 6 year deductions chapter 6 year deductions is not allowed this is the case and we will see the answer for the answer they provided that xc limited and indian company and jilla incorporation the us company deemed to be associated enterprise why they are associated because because not less than 26 percent is voting power in xc limited next as per section 92 p 92 a will be associated enterprise 92 b will be transaction international transaction what is mean by transaction international transaction international transactions means when transaction entered between two companies for sale of product lending guarantee provision of services relating to market retail and includes international transactions so it will also include international transactions and accordingly transfer price would be attracted and income arising from such international transactions have been competed in arm's length price and in this case from information given arm's length price has been determined using comparable uncontrolled method that is cup method why we will go for cup method because unrelated person price is given and we will from that unrelated price we will compare from our person so we are comparing unrelated price so cup method appropriate method and amount by which total income of xc limited is enhanced on account of adjustment in the value of international transaction what is the difference is there 3 minus 2 that is 1 rupee into 1 lakh into 64 rupees is the rate and what is the excess amount we have paid 3000 is paid so we will add back 3000 into 64 rupees and whatever the excess payment was paid for services 5000 5000 into 64 rupees and it will become 69.12 and he cannot claim the deduction under section 10 aa 69.12 being amount of income by which total income he enhanced by virtue of first first prior to section 92 c4 next question number seven examine with reason whether the two enterprise referred to in the independent situation so what we are required they are provided they are associated enterprises they are entered some transactions it will come under uh, it will come under transfer pricing regulation or not we will discuss so so first we will see pqr incorporation sir. they are some transactions they if they are associated enterprises or we will provide two enterprise was provided for independent transactions sir. below can be deemed to be associated enterprise under indian transfer pricing regulations sir. so we will see regulations as per regulations for transactions is there then it will be treated as associated enterprise next we will see that pqr incorporation so one company is there p company and poem was there also in poem in usa company and it was advanced loan to mahanandi limited it is indian company and on 1 10 4 2021 20, where book value of assets will be 300 crores so 170 was there 170 was paid and 300 is, is book value so more than 51 percent that is if you given 150 it will become 50 percent so more than 51 percent of book value was thereby associated enterprise value so it will be associated enterprises next the market value of assets however is 320 crores and mahanandi limited repaid 30 crores before 31st 3 why if, even though he has repaid it will not impact so when the loan was taken it was more than 51 percent so that more than 51 percent is there in book value it will be treated as associated enterprise next next case q company is there what is there q company is there okay what is doing q company french company it is french company and poem will be in power to appoint two come two persons 
and out of eight percent sorry three percent out of eight percent when eight is there and we require for appointing more then it will be treated as associated persons if you are appointment power is less than this then it will not be treated as associated enterprise so less than half of is there so it will not be associated enterprise not associated enterprise next total value of loan total value of raw materials and consumables of saraswati limited indian company is 90 crores so, so indian company he's taken 900 crores he has purchased from supplier tune of 830 crores from germany company which is poem he is there 8 and 830 rupees so both one person Z joel is germany company and he has supplied this company for um, saraswati out of saraswati is purchasing more from other than person so it was exceeded 90 percent specified percentage then it will be treated as associated enterprises associated if you are purchasing from one company for that an outside country and more raw materials is purchased from that person only then it will be treated as associated enterprises next here we will see the answers now the answer will be first one answer will be pqr is a foreign company and advanced loan 170 crores to manandi limited and we will 170 crores divided by book value will be what is the book value was provided 300 crores so it will become 56.67 percent that is more than 51 percent more than 51 percent since the loan advanced by pqr is 51 percent or more of mahanandi pqr and mahanandi are deemed associated enterprise in indian transfer pricing regulations next the deeming provisions would be attracted even if there is repayment repayment even if the repayment of loan during the same previous year which bring down the same percentage below 51 percent we will see the percentage at a starting not at ending next second what is there in second in second they appointed three percent out of eight percent so it will become 37.5 percent so their power has only 37.5 percent but we required for if you want to two enterprise deemed to be associated enterprise we required more than half more than half of the board of directors of one enterprise are appointed by other enterprises when more than half is appointed by another person then both are treated as associated enterprises next in this case since q land plc has power to appoint only 37.5 it will less than half it will not be treated as associated enterprise not deemed to be associated enterprise next since joel is German company supplies 92.2 percent of raw materials consumables required by saraswati saraswati is indian company more than 90 per 90 percent was purchased from single supplier that to other side other country person so both are treated as deemed associated enterprise next question number eight in question number eight what is provided here we will see np one p is there borrowed 80 crores so when it is a borrowing we will see the book value 50 percent or more for book value then it will be treated as associated enterprise so the company incorporated in india from it is taken from other side country person and interest rate was 10 percent okay and the said loan he is repayable over period of five years further loan he is guaranteed by st incorporated in uk mrs feed incorporation non-resident who is holding 40 percent of voting power so more than 26 percent so both are associated enterprises both are associated enterprises next here they provided that when there is a associated enterprise guarantee is given and then we will charge the interest how much charge interest is allowable has reduction will be actual interest whatever the interest is paid actual interest paid or 30 percent of ebi dta i think so ebt dta whatever the ending before depreciation interest ending before interest depreciation tax 
E B I D T A it will become I think to uh, 30 percent whichever is low will be allowed to have deduction in case of interest is there. So if an Indian company being a borrower incurs any expenditure by way of interest in respect of any debt issued by non-resident associated enterprises and such interest exceeds 1 crore if the exceeds 1 crore 1 crore is exceeded this year 80 crores into 10 percent it will become 8 crores so 1 crore was exceeded and they provided another information here we are not seeing now this is 7 crores after debiting the above interest depreciation 8 crores and income tax 4 crores so for 7 we will add back 80 80 crores into 10 percent 8 crores plus 6 crores we will add back and 4 crores we will add back 4 plus 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 8 18 we will add back to this one and we will get one amount from that amount we will see the 30 percent and if the amount is more than this 8 crores we will provide this one if it is less than and we will provide this one 30 percent case and here they provided the C interest is exceeded 1 percent when interest paid that is 8 crores are payable of such company in excess of 30 percent of earning before our tax depreciation amortization or interest paid or payable associated and price whichever is lower that is actual amount or 30 percent of EBITDA next 92 will be allowed as deduction it will be allowed as deduction next further where depth is issued by lender which is not associated enterprise but an associated enterprise either by providing implicit or explicit guarantees to such lender or deposits or corresponding and matching amount of fund which the lender and depth shall be deemed to have been issued by an under an associated enterprise there may be relationship associated internship relationship will be direct or indirect interest will be allowed as deduction what amount is allowed only the actual amount or 30 percent of ebi tda ebi tda next year in the present case since t limited holds 40 percent 40 percent so more than 26 percent voting power so both our np and st will become deemed associated enterprise and st incorporated deemed to be associated enterprise here the loan was taken 80 crores okay 80 crores indian company from guaranteed by st associated enterprise since debt deemed to have been issued by an associated enterprise and interest is payable and allowed a deduction has for section 94b 94b that is actual or 30 percent of ebi tda next we will see 80 crores will be the loan amount 10 percent will be the interest rate so net profit was provided and we will back this and interest will be added back and depreciation added back income tax added back we will get the ebi tda 25 crores 25 crores into what is the percentage uh, 30 percent total interest paid are payable in excess of 30 percent what amount is he is paid we will see 30 percent on that amount 30 percent and ebi tda 8 crores minus 7.5 crores 50 lakhs it will become interest paid are payable to non-resident associated enterprise will be 8 crores so deduction will be allowed a 50 lakhs deduction will be interest to be disallowed sorry 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 disallowed will be 50 lakhs so only up to the 30 percent 30 percent will be allowed as deduction above 30 percent it will be disallowed 30 percent up to 30 percent will be allowed as deductions next question number completed here